Young, low, lean, and mean is a good way to describe the Kawasaki Vulcan. This is the custom model, and I think the name kind of speaks for itself, but starting at the front of the bike, you get a 21-inch front wheel with a wide glide front end. It's got the 8-inch risers back to the pullback drag bars, the teardrop headlamp, big 5.3-gallon massive paint, uh, massive tank with this gorgeous almost bass boat like dark black from a distance but it has blue metal flake I don't know if the camera's picking that up the center console here with 130 mile an hour speedometer it's got the, the uh, gas gauge the neutral light the turn signal the high beam the odometer and trip meter uh, just a beautiful piece the Vulcan 903 although it looks like a traditional air-cooled cruiser if you look closely and you have to look closely they have a radiator it's liquid cooled right in between the front frame rails here but they did it in a way that is to not take away from the stylish look of this big v-twin motor it's a uh, counterbalanced rubber mounted v-twin so it has very little vibration unlike most traditional v-twins because it is counterbalanced and the engine is rubber mounted it's a five-speed transmission with a shaft rear drive almost zero maintenance just change the oil and keep clean air filters in it and the thing will run forever it is fuel injected it's an overhead cam and four valve double overhead cam and four valve per cylinder so thoroughly modern specs on a traditional classic design kawasaki heavy engineering they kawasaki built some of the best street bikes on the on the road today and this one's the most popular of their v-twin line the factory original saddle looks custom but that's original as is the Kawasaki accessory backrest and luggage rack. The rear tire on this thing is a massive 180 70 by 15 to contrast the 21 inch front, giving it that custom hot rod look with the massive chrome dual exhaust on it, glistening in the sun as you can see uh, today with the sun shining off of it. Electrically, the bike's a 10, the headlight horn, everything works beautifully on it. It's just been serviced here at Kaplan Cycles. I bought this from my friend Harry Hall, who's a, a, a dealer out of Rhode Island, and he had this bike as his personal rider for the last year, and just decided he was gonna gonna sell us a whole bunch of bikes, and this is part of part of the package deal, the bikes we bought from him. The uh, chrome on the front forks is really nice. You can see the uh, paint job is absolutely beautiful on the bike. Original factory paint, showing no evidence of any uh, crash damage ever. This is a belt final drive I, I think I said shaft drive I'm not sure why I said that it, it's, a, it's a belt drive um, sorry about that solid disc mag rear wheel spoked mag in the front chrome struts for the rear fender massive 180 tire with a huge rear fender makes this thing look like a much bigger bike than a 900 I mean this rivals most 1800s in size and certainly it's as big as a Harley Davidson Softail custom which is uh, these days I think they're uh, coming 15 50 and in larger cc's you can get a 1 110 or a 117 this one is going to be really fuel efficient pretty much maintenance free typical japanese quality uh, has forward controls on it passenger pegs backrest and back and luggage rack for the wife so um, just a really nice machine we'll do a quick riding demo on it for you electric start fuel injected counterbalanced v twin very comfortable, very, very comfortable, very smooth riding bike.
a hundred miles on it. Rear tire has maybe 500 miles on it. Nice matching set of thumb ops. They're in like new condition. It's got a new battery. It's ready to go. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. You can Cycles, your one-stop shop for all vintage and antique motorcycle needs. Also offering 2023 gas gas models from 50 cc's all the way up to the 450 Troy Lee designs. God bless America, y'all know the deal.